Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. This is part 56. Or is it part 55? I believe it's part 56. Last time, we worked on basically turning the skeleton farm that we had built the time before into a cafe. I kept saying bar and cafe, and both of them, for some reason I kept getting them mixed up. It's meant to be a cafe. But anyways, I have done a lot of stuff in this world off camera. First thing, I'm not going to look over there yet. I'm actually going to look at my map first. Notice anything different about the desert area? Specifically something that's gone? Something that I've wanted to fix for a long time? Maybe you'll notice a little bit better if we fly over the area. As you can see, the giant hole that was here, I have filled in. Finally. You have no idea how long I have wanted to fill this thing in. Oh yeah, I also finished the skeleton cafe bar thing, put in the windows and stuff, yeah. You have no idea how long I have wanted to fix this. Now it is only one layer thick, like, you break that cobblestone layer, you're in a giant hole. But, I don't really care, because it looks so much nicer now. So, yeah. Uh, I don't remember if I changed anything on the inside. Uh, no, it looks basically the same. So, yeah, I didn't change anything on the inside. I still love how this ping pong... This is not ping pong. I still love how this um, pool table came out. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I'm not thinking I changed anything else in here. I forget because, again, I did put in a lot of work off camera. And you want to see how many bones and arrows and things that we got out of the skeleton farm? Actually, not that many, because I used most of them on the wood farm, and got a, little, a bunch of wood from it. So yeah, at least I know that the wood farm works. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else I really did off camera in the overworld. I did do one more thing, like big thing, off camera, and that is in the Nether, which is actually where we're going to be spending words. That's where we're going to be spending most of the episode. So yeah. Is today I plan on doing a little bit of wither skeleton hunting and I also found something that I want to go check out and that is another nether fortress anyways I'm gonna grab some blocks and the nether so in the nether first thing that I did uh, hold on, I gotta get up to the second layer uh, if you remember I believe I already finished the entirety oh no I still have that room down there that I need to finish I really am just never gonna finish this product or project. But anyways, as you can see, I put in a lot of work on this tunnel. This is the only tunnel that I've done so far, but it is incredibly, incredibly long. And I really wish that I picked a better design for this that was simpler. But this just looks so nice that I couldn't not use it. Anyways, keep heading down here. There's a bend right up here. Then it turns left, I believe. Yes, left. And then it goes down a little ways. The actual bottom part goes all the way to the destination, but I didn't have the materials I needed. Mostly glowstone and nether... Or, what's this called? Nether brick. I mostly didn't have much of that, but yeah. The actual bridge part leads all the way over to the blaze farm. So yeah, that took me forever. Eh. Next thing. Over here, I think it was over here, um, can I see it? Uh, yes I can. Right there, there's another nether, ne eh, I cannot speak this episode. There's another nether fortress, which is way closer than that one was. And I really wish I had found this one first, because there's also a blaze spawner completely in the open, so I wouldn't have had to destroy like half of the nether fortress to get to it. So basically, this was just a better nether, or better nether fortress than that one. So that's where we're going to be hunting for blazes. Or not blazes, wither skeletons. So I guess first things first, I should probably actually get out of this tunnel and head over there. Is there a way around through here? Well, I might need to take off my elytra for a little bit because every time that I start falling... Oh no, it's right here. Every time that I accidentally double click the forward button, I go flying. Here we are, second nether fortress, there's an easy entrance down there, so I guess I'll head to that. I do also need to remember where I am. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find my bearings just from that. I guess here, the elytra will actually be pretty useful. So, uh, what should we do? I guess, drink a night vision potion. I should have enough night vision for the entire episode. 
And let's just tunnel in, see what we can find. See if we can get some loot and things. We don't need the nether wart. Uh, let's head up the staircase first. Yeah, that was a good choice, because there's nothing here. <laughs> Again, basic goal of this. Find wither skeletons, murder them to death, and then steal their head. Hopefully, I'll get lucky enough. Also, there's probably going to be a bunch of these chests. Don't really need them. If I find a chest and don't need what's in it, I'll just put a lock on top of it so I remember. <laughs> this is something I haven't really done in this world in quite a long time. Just doing a little nether raid, finding some loot. Killing some skeletons. I still haven't seen a single monster, which... Ooh, some diamonds. I will definitely take those. But I still haven't seen a single monster, which is saddening. I'm hoping I can get at least one skull this episode. If I could get one skull this episode, I would be happy. Is eventually I'm going to need to get a beacon. Like, I refuse to do mass mining sessions without a beacon. Because a beacon just makes life a million times easier. There's just an exit here. Uh, yeah. Staircase. Yeah, I guess I'll go down here next. And... Ooh, there's some stuff in there. There's my little bridge. That actually looks a lot cooler than I thought it did from the outside. And there's the first wither skeletons. There we go. Okay. Come attack me. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on! Really gassed. You're gonna pull this? This is the first one I've found. And it just gave me coal. There's another one up there. Might have to kill that gas before I can do anything. Oh no, that's gonna hit my- okay. Yeah, maybe that's the worst strategy for fighting this guy off. You know what, I'm just gonna go for- okay, yeah, this is just not going well for me. Maybe I should just use my bow. That would be so much smarter. Oh yeah, I guess you can also defend with your shield. I forgot you can do that. Oh, it doesn't work near as well as I thought it did. Okay, uh, shoot, and shoot, and shoot, and shoot, and, uh, I missed. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, there we go. And I think I actually killed everything, so I'm good. I need to break that spawn. Okay, here we go. Skeleton's coming. I need to kill this guy with my looting sword. Okay, I'm withering. That's not good, but I'm not too worried. As long as I kill this spawner. That spawner takes up spawning rights or something. And I don't want that. I want the skeletons to take spawning rights. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just making up things. I may have to think of a better idea on how to hunt these things, because, again, I am not finding anything. I have to be just, like, super unlucky, right? I mean, here's a few more chests. I'll wander around this place for a little bit longer, and if I don't see any more skeletons, then I might check some other place out. See if I can find a different nether fortress, or even just try my nether fortress. I might have better chances with that, actually. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I guess let's head to the other fortress. Let's see if our luck is any better here. I'm already seeing more things alive, so that's a good sign. But I'm also lagging a lot more, and that makes it kind of difficult to fight against the burning things of death. <gasps> Skeletons, finally! Okay, um, notice me, attack me, give me your skull. These are the three things I want out of you. Ow, okay, I'm withered. That's not exactly what I wanted, but you know what, I'll take it as long as you give me a skull. Okay, no, I'm just mad at you. <laughs> There's more skeletons! Okay, never mind. Okay, I almost ran off the edge. The lag was not helping me there. Let's see if I can kill that blaze. There we go. Okay. Kill that one too. If I can shoot that far. Yeah, we're good. Okay. And there we go. So now I gotta find my way over to them without getting far enough away that they can have a chance at despawning. Which shouldn't be too hard as long as I'm not shot by angry blazes that I am bad at aiming at. I literally just saw it three times in the same place. What am I doing? Now we just go around here. Now we just gotta get up there somehow. Probably with the staircase that I'm going to build right now. Or maybe the- oh! Oh, this, okay, there's a wither skeleton right there. Okay, other wither skeletons don't drop on top of me. Actually do. Because that's actually going to make my life easier, because then you'll come to me. Okay, drop a skull. Drop a skull and I'll be happy. Ow. 
No skull? I have looting on this, right? I don't! Oh! No wonder I'm so unlucky! I was thinking, I've killed like 30 skeletons throughout my time in this series, and not one has dropped a skull. That would explain why. So, yeah, I'm gonna head back real quick and make a sword with actual enchantments that'll help me out. I can't believe I don't have looting. Of course, now that I came back with a properly equipped weapon, I am not gonna find anything, am I? Oh, never mind! <gasps> no, skeleton, what are you doing? Okay, I need to get down there, they're killing each other. Ah, uh, did he kill two of the wither skeletons? I thought he only killed one. Uh, Alright, skeleton. Be interested in me, please. There we go. Now follow me over here, where you can't be followed off the edge. And I didn't get a skull. Okay. Man, I can't believe that happened. I found three wither skeletons, and a regular skeleton spawned in, which I didn't even know they could spawn in the nether. And it killed two of them. Why in the world would they be programmed to fight each other? One thing that's definitely a plus. My aim is getting so much better in this game. Like, I only miss 50% of the time now. It used to be 100% of the time. Alright. Die. 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 Any skulls or anything of the sort? No, just swords. I got a skull! First skull! Yes! We are one-third of the way there! Okay, good. I was a bit worried that I wasn't going to get anything in this episode, and it was just going to be kind of boring. Maybe I might get lucky and get two? Like, two in a row? Uh, no, I'm not that lucky. But, that's, that's awesome! We finally have a Wither Skeleton skull. We haven't gotten one the, the entire series. So I'm very happy. No, all we gotta do is get two more. And then, the nether, wither, whatever that thing is, a beacon's basically secured. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I definitely did not hit that pigman. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm dead. Goodbye, world. Uh, you gotta be kidding me! Ah, uh, pigman grabbed my shield. Are you kidding me? And where's my sword? The pigman has my sword, too! Uh, which means I have to kill this pigman. Really? Is there any way that I can, like... No, there's not. Well, and he has my sword, so as soon as I hit him... It's bad for me. Okay, at least I have my sword, so at the very least I know I'm semi-safe. And I have a potion of night vision. But man, now the pigmen are going to be mad at me for the rest of the episode. At least the episode can only last the maximum of 8 minutes long because, well, I only have 8 minutes left of potion. At least I got one skull, though. That's all I really wanted out of this episode was to get one skull, and that is what I seem to have gotten. So, yay me. I was just hoping I'd be able to get at least one more so that I wouldn't have to do everything else off camera. Ooh, there's a couple guys over there. And a very fast pigman, I'm just gonna do that. And hello, how are you doing? Yeah, all of the pigmen are mad at me. Man. <sighs> well, I guess here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little pathway that I have here as far as I think I need to go to get out of the range of any angry pigmen that might be there. Hopefully everything will despawn that will sadly also despawn all of those uh, skeletons that I had. But, I'll walk up to a pigman once I'm far enough away, see if it's mad at me. If not, then I will continue my hunt, and if so, I have to go even farther away. Nope, they're still mad at me because this guy followed me the entire way. <sighs> Seriously? So yeah, I guess what I have to do, the only way I can fix this problem, is I have to go up to my gold farm, which means I have to go up that giant gold, or not that giant, that giant ladder, which is going to take me forever. You know, originally I planned on this just being a quick episode. Something I could do real fast, maybe get a couple skulls. I got one, but that's not really something to write home about.
is I had some plans to do some off-camera things as well, which I don't think I'm really going to get a chance to do. So, actually, you know what? I think that's going to be all for this time. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, I hopefully will have gotten the other two skulls, as well as a mending book to put on this sword. And, yeah. Bye.